Good evening and thank you for joining us. The UW System's diversity, equity and inclusion efforts are at the center of budget talks at the Capitol this week. News 3 Now's Braden Ross is live on UW Madison's campus to explain. Braden. Yeah, that's right, Charlotte. It has been a very contentious week at the Capitol for UW system funding. And like you said, at the center of it all, diversity, equity, and inclusion. I spent the day here on campus talking to students about how they feel about possibly losing some of those programs. Take a look. It's a ridiculous effort on his part. A tense week at the Capitol for the UW system. We believe what we believe. Assembly Speaker Robin Voss saying he wants to cut UW's budget by $32 million because of diversity, equity, and inclusion programs. Governor Evers threatening to veto the entire budget if he does. If the governor would make a mistake and try to pick one thing out of a $80 billion budget uh, to say we have to spend money how he sees fit, that's, that's not going to work. It's a conversation UW System President Jay Rothman says is broader than just DEI. My, my commitment to our DEI efforts have been, I've reiterated that multiple times. Um, and again, I think this is ultimately coming down to, to workforce. Wisconsin's in a war for talent. We need to have more graduates. But on UW Madison's campus, students say attracting and keeping students won't be easy without DEI. If they don't see any place where they're represented or being supported, then there's no reason for them to come here. And that's a huge loss. Engineering students I talked to say DEI programs have been a cornerstone of their UW experience. It really helps us get through the day because sometimes like without that community, it makes it really hard to get through this program in the same way that like other students would be able to. After a racist video of a UW Madison student went viral this spring, students renewed calls for more commitment to DEI. Now they say losing that funding would be a step in the wrong direction. I think to strip that away takes us backwards and I think it would really do more harm than good. And now work on the budget is still ongoing. They're expected to finish in June, but we're not sure yet if that budget committee will take up these cuts. For now, Braden Ross, News 3 Now.